This is Twit. Fitness is one of those things that hopefully is something we can all work on, you know, whatever your goal, be it big or small, and no matter what your starting point is, hopefully you can be doing things every day to improve your fitness. And uh, the fitness app, uh, which is a separate app to the health app, uh, has uh, some nice features inside of it. Uh, so it's got a move goal, it's got an exercise goal, it's got a stand goal, um, and these are the classic rings that you've seen. Now, something that I have not yet done is set up my training load or tracking my training load, and this gives me the option to set it up here in the fitness app. Uh, and just to remind folks, there is a fitness app as well as the health app, and they have... Um, you know, different icons and they're both there. So if I set this up, then I can see how I'm tracking. I can get effort reminders. So now when I finish a workout, it asks me to rate the effort that I put into those things. Um, and then I can get personalized summaries. Um, but what I really like about the activity rings is there is now the option, which isn't something that has always been an option, I have to say, of having a pause. Uh, so if, for example, you've been working out really hard and you've done really well, but you rolled your ankle and you're a runner, well, guess what? You probably need to stay off your ankle for a while to let it heal. So if you open the fitness app and you th then tap on your activity rings, which are the first thing at the top, and then you scroll down, there is the option. First of all, you can change your goals, which, you know, if you're still able to do other things is great, but there's also pause. And I love this because there are a couple of different options here. So I can just say, hey, no, you know what? I am really not feeling great today. I woke up today and I've got a massive headache and I just feel awful. I'm really not going to get any kind of health stuff done. I need to go to bed and avoid a migraine. I can just say pause it today. I can say pause it until Tuesday. Now we're recording this on Tuesday, so that's a week. I can say, give me a week off. I can say pause until next month, or I can do a custom pause uh, for you know a certain number of days. And if I scroll, 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 then it goes up to 90 days. So uh, in that case, because we're recording here on the 12th of November, that takes us to the 10th of February. Um, and I can set that. And that is really nice. Now you can change your goals. Uh, so you can have your daily move goal. As you can see, I had this set super low for a while because I was really enjoying uh, getting uh you know, notifications that I did this like 4,000%, but instead I'm going to set this back to a very reasonable low number, um, which is uh, 400, and I'm going to change my move goal. My daily exercise goal, I can adjust so I can say, hey, I need to do five minutes of exercise a day, or I can be aiming for an hour of exercise or even more. Now, personally, I usually aim for about 15 minutes, so I'm just going to pop that back. Oop, I overshot in the wrong direction both ways, and I'll change that. And then my daily stand goal as well. So if you're somebody who uh, struggles with standing, then a 12-hour stand goal may not be great for you. Uh, maybe a 10-hour one is uh, better, or even six hours, then that's as low as it goes. Uh, you cannot have a 24 hour stand goal, to be clear. Um, so please get some <laughs> sleep. Uh, the maximum you can go is 16. I found 10 seems to work pretty well for me. Um, and you can also schedule on all of these. So, for example, if you have a workout pattern and you know on certain days, I'm going to do more exercise than on other days. And I would like to plan for that. Or on some days, I am going to be uh, working and it's a very intensive job, but you need to sit down for uh, that job and you can't get up and move around easily, then you might want to reduce your stand goal for those days. Um, and uh, I love the fact that this is now an option and you tap on schedule in the top right um, to set that, or you can just have the same goal every single day. Um, and yeah, um, it's, it's pretty nice uh, seeing those badges and things rack up. Um, yeah, in the activity rings, you can, if you tap on the calendar at the top, you can get a little overview. As you can see, I've done pretty well most days with the, with the red ring. Uh, I've done fairly well with the green ring as well. And my blue ring, it varies. What's really interesting is there are some days in here where I know I definitely stood up and moved around quite a bit, but it may be that I was not wearing my Apple Watch at the time or something else. Um, so I didn't necessarily get the credit. Um, but uh, yes, I, I have to say it's a nice having all these fitness options here. And the fitness app is also where you have Fitness Plus, which if you have a Fitness Plus subscription or the uh, Apple One subscription, which includes all of Apple's offerings, uh, including Apple TV and Apple Arcade, uh, then you can get those videos uh, in here to 
do your own workouts at home, uh, which I have to say, I've been enjoying some of the yoga and the Pilates videos. Um, I've tried a few of the dance videos. My problem is, as I don't like the music necessarily, like it's great music, but it's not music that I want to dance to. Like if I, if I want to dance, you know, somebody give me some ABBA dancing queen, something like that. You know, it's not necessarily like a good dance that I'm going to be doing, but it's going to get me up and moving. So I need to, I need to find some workouts that work for me there, but there's lots of really great options available. Hey, if you liked that clip, well, there's so much more to get by joining Club Twit. You can watch all of iOS today where we cover all things iOS, tvOS, HomePod OS, watchOS, and so much more. It's all the apps, all the tips and tricks, and everything with Rosemary Orchard and me, Micah Sargent. Join Club Twit at twit.com tv slash club to see all of ios today